Welcome back everyone, JARC02, my name is Joel and this is part two of my pop culture collection. Um, come to think of it, uh, there are just a couple things that are not included here with this collection and those are the sets. Uh, there were a couple sets um, and when I, that they all came together in like one package. Um, <clears throat> Those are included. I went through those uh, when I went through my what in the box videos or what's in the box videos, I should say. So um, this is part two and uh, just going to go through um, my pop culture. Uh, part one was the beginning of it. I also discussed what I don't have and, uh, you know, because they just found partial parts of the collection for whatever reason but in any case uh these here are all complete now i don't think my pop culture collection is all inclusive uh i'm sure there might be complete sets i'm missing and i do know for a fact there uh were some early early um pieces i don't have and right now really have no plans to actively collect um but in any case um <clears throat> Here is the Mario Brothers uh, six-car set. Um, I believe I found this in a local supermarket. Um, this is pretty cool. Uh, I don't play video games. Um, I'm not a big video game player. Uh, my family thought it was a waste of money, so we never had a video game machine at home. No Atari, no Nintendo, uh, or anything like that. Um, and God forbid you spend a quarter in a video arcade playing a game. And that was a super waste of money. So I get admonished for it. Um, but in any case, um, this is the uh, complete um, Mario Brothers set. Okay, so here we have School Bust It. Uh, super Mario. Dairy Delivery. Oh, and what date did this come out? This came out... That's the date of 2015, so it came out in 2016. It's a couple years old. <sighs> Dr. Mario. And this is an eight-crate delivery. That's based off a Ford um, station wagon. It has a uh, rear or mid-mounted engine, so it's in the, uh, the back of the vehicle. Um, cool one. Super Mario 2. Again, you know, I think all the backs are the same, just the front. Um, the card art's good on this, you know. Um, I guess some people have fond memories of Mario. I, I, I know the name. Uh, don't ask me about the characters in here. I just don't know, okay? Um, here we have AOK. -okay. That was a Larry Wood design vehicle. And here we have the Volkswagen T1 panel bus, a popular favorite casting. Okay, complete set, all six. Um, here we have Superman and Batman. Okay. Uh, this isn't that old. I think this came out a couple years ago. This is a Dodge Macho Power Wagon. You don't see that very often. That's a nice casting. Um, it's hard to see because it's so dark. So I hope they come out with this in a different color with a different card back because it's really hard. You know, for people who want to keep this carded, it's just hard to appreciate the casting because it, for me at least, it's just dark against dark. You can't you can't see it. There's no contrasting view to appreciate the, uh, the truck. But I kind of have an idea what it looks like. Okay. Um, this came out in 2016. So it came out in 2017. All right, so these are the cars that came with it. I do have the whole set. All right, um, so there's the Dodge Macho Power Wagon. Here's the quick delivery. It's another Batman model. Batman livery, Tampo design. Um, here's the third Batman one. 34 Dodge delivery bus. Did I call this one delivery bus? Um, here's the custom 52 Chevy with Superman. So, three Superman, three Batman. And in case 
if you're like me and you used to get confused by the two models, the Dodge Delivery Bus and the Custom 52 Chevy, uh, here they are side by side. Uh, although the Custom 52 Chevy would make a good, uh, great good humor truck, so uh, uh, that's pretty much how they almost looked when they used to come around my neighborhood uh, as a kid in the summertime. Okay. Uh, here we have the, uh, what's that, the 71 Chevy El Camino, Superman, and one of the most popular in the bunch, the Volkswagen T1 panel, so they had one just like they did with Super Mario, alright, got those, uh, let's tear down the pile bit by bit, this is a five car set, now this is one of the sets that, um, that came as a whole. You could get this all packaged into one set. And I do have that. And again, I went over that when I did my what's in the box videos. Uh, for whatever box it was in, that's where it was located. Um, I don't know if you could do a search on my YouTube site or not to find that. I don't know if I have that in the description where you could do a search. I'd have to uh, try it myself to find out. Uh, the Deco Delivery, Linus in the Snow, here's the cars, okay, and copyright 2016. Here is the um, Greenbrier Sport Wagon, and instead of surfboards, they're painted up like Christmas trees, I guess, is what that's supposed to be. Okay, so we have Snoopy and Lucy. Okay, and here we have Rolling Thunder, which is a uh, uh, dragster, funny car. So that whole lid pops up, so. And we have Lucy and Linus. Uh, and here we have the uh, 85 Chevy Astro van with uh, Linus, Charlie Brown, and Snoopy. And there's uh, Lucy on the car itself. And the 66 Dodge A100 van. Snoopy setting up his uh, dollhouse for Christmas. Okay. Uh, and here is one of the um, Archie, which was a comic. It's been around forever. Um, The heck date is that? 2013? Is it six cars? Here's the cars. Alright. So here we have um, Sweet Streets. Um, I can't tell if the guy is in there or not. I think he is. So if you collect this model, there's like a character or something standing up inside to serve on the other side. It's hard to see. But I kind of make it out. I think it's there. Uh, there's the card art. Get my fingers out of the way. Uh, the uh, 40 Ford Coupe. I like the design on this. Of the, uh, you know, the overall shape of the car I like. Uh, there's Archie. La Troca, haven't seen this model in a while. Seventy Chevy Blazer. Super van, again, based on a Dodge van. Super van's been around forever. And the 67 Ford Bronco. Uh, 
Um, this has got a $6 sticker on here, so I must have got this at a uh, the club meeting or something, or toy show somewhere. I don't remember where, but with that one there, I probably bought that second hand. All right, take that off. Um, Star Trek. Star Trek celebrated 50 years, the original Star Trek, just a couple years ago. So we have uh, all the popular characters. Sulu, if you want to pause and see what he's saying. Okay, and he's on the uh, Midnight Auto. And the six-car set, and this is a 2013 date. I thought it was a lot sooner. Um... I thought it was a lot newer, but 2013, so it came out four years ago. Wow, okay. Anyway, uh, Sulu, another 52 Chevy with um, Scotty. If you want to pause and read what he says there. Here is, don't see this model a lot, the, uh, what the heck here is that? The 38 Dodge Airflow tanker oh, that's a famous line I remember the episode he said that okay again all the backs are the same car parts different okay here we have the Jeep Wagoneer okay so Jeep fans here's a Wagoneer Nineteen eighty-eight. All right, Uhura. Here's uh, Captain Kirk on the uh, Ford COE. So that's a Ford COE, not the Chevy's or GMC COE. All right. And here we have Spock. If you want to pause on that and take a look, his famous saying. All right, so that's it for the uh, Star Trek. Uh, it's not the only Star Trek, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Again, this is not in any order. It's just what I have. Um, here we have another M&M Mars. <laughs> I think this is... Milky Way, because that's M&M &M Mars, and that's on the bread box. And here's all the models that come with it. So this is the uh, bread box. Here is the uh, smoking grill. So traveling food truck. The 70 Chevelle uh, delivery. Uh, I do have uh, one or two open. Uh, this is on display in my room. And the one display that I do have uh, in my house. Okay. Uh, Dove. Uh, not a big fan of that one. Uh, not the car's okay. I'm just talking about the candy itself. Uh, keep thinking it's soap so am I supposed to eat it or wash myself with it so that's the problem with having the same name for two different products get them confused and there it goes on my rug okay Snickers and that's on the Anglia panel truck Skittles on the uh, Deco delivery. Uh, here is a fairly recent one. Here is the uh, Super Friends, um, or the uh, Justice League, I should say. Okay. Uh, now, there was another video I saw where they took these out of the package and I think it's the series here I think it's different on each side okay so 
Um, the tampa work on the other side is different than the side facing out. And this is recent, so this just came out last year. So that's a 2017 date. So it came out late last year, earlier this year. Uh, T1 panel, and again, I said Super Friends, but it's the Justice League from the movie. Um, Wonder Woman. Uh, this is the only one I think it's the same on each side because her picture's on the top. Okay. And that's the uh, Austin Mini Van. Here's the uh, the 66 Dodge A100 van with uh, Green Lantern. Here's Superman hauling gas. I think they'd give him a better vehicle. And here is the custom uh, 77 Dodge van. Okay, and what makes this different than the custom van, uh, if we find one really quick, because I know I have one here someplace. Here's the two. Here's the uh, super van and the 77 Dodge van. So you can see that the windows are different overall. Um, shape is similar. It's more sloped at the top on the, uh, on the super van in the rear. This is more square and straight up or vertical on the custom. Obviously the side window is different. Okay, um, there is a difference to the front um, grill and headlight treatment. So the snout is different. And it's hard to see, but I'm pretty sure there's taillight um, cutouts or something on here. Maybe I'm wrong, but. Um, Again, fairly confident that's based on a Dodge, even though it doesn't say so. And this is most definitely a Dodge because it does say so. Okay. But at least we're able to compare that in case somebody was wondering. Yeah. Make some room because I'm making a mess again. Okay. Um... So that's that. And uh, let's do uh, one more and then I'm going to cut this video and we'll have to do another one. Because uh, I don't want to make it too long or bore you guys and gals. Um, but here we have the Muppets. Uh, I'll do my favorite characters last. Not the favorite car, but the favorite characters. And then uh, I'll show you my favorite car. Uh, so we have Animal on the uh, 34 sedan delivery. Here we have Kermit the Frog on the Volkswagen T1 panel bus. Oh, and by the way, uh, copyright is 2014. Uh, I th think I found these in a the store. I think I was able to get all these in a the store. Okay, and here's the uh, cars that came with it. So I did not buy these online. Um, and uh, if you notice the color, it's the same color as my Chevy. And now you wonder why I call it Kermit. Okay. Um, here is uh, whatever his name is. I forget his name. I never liked him anyway. Fat Fender 40. Someone tell me his name. He's carrying a plunger. What the heck is he? What's he going to go plunge a toilet with a suit and tie on? Jeez. That's weird. All right. Here is the Chrysler Airflow, Miss Piggy. Uh, JG24 die cast. That is... And I subscribe to his channel. It's like JG24. 
diecast, I think it is. He says his wife collects Miss Piggy. So I told him that there was some stuff out there, uh, that there was some uh, <clears throat> pop culture with uh, Miss Piggy Tampo. So this is it, okay? Uh, that's one of them that I was talking about, if he's watching. Oh, boy. Here goes my car as I'm trying to pile this up neatly. Okay. Darn it. Uh, Sam the Eagle, red, white, and blue. And that is on a 52 Chevy truck. I do like that design, come to think of it. You know what I mean? Especially on the Chevy. Okay. Um, now, my favorite characters from the Muppets were uh, Dr. Bunsen and Beaker. Uh, Beaker is, is hysterical. He is... He is hysterical, okay? That's my favorite characters. My favorite car from this set is this one. I do like Kermit. He's my second best favorite character, okay? But he's also the one you see more often, so he's my favorite character you see the most. But then I also like the, uh, the color presentation and uh, him being on the, uh, the Volkswagen. Um... <laughs> Again, um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to, based on how this is going, I'm going to be doing uh, more pop culture. So uh, stay tuned for pop culture part three. Uh, if you like the video and you have not subscribed, upper left corner, please subscribe. And please, I look forward to hearing your comments. Take care.